guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift haul video for you from none other than Salvation Army. Now I had mentioned um, to you all that Salvation Army has definitely stepped up its game as far as merchandise. Um, the guy that is in charge of uh, putting out like all of the uh, hard goods, um, his name is Baxter. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out. Hey, Baxter, what's up, dude? <laughs> um, he's he's awesome. I was chit-chatting with him when I was in there last week, and um, he watches my channel. So I just wanted to, to say hey. Um, but, anywho, um, also in this video, I will be inserting pictures for you that I forgot to um, insert in my last video. Isn't that a surprise? <laughs> yes, the CRS never ends. Um, I forgot to insert the pictures of the larger items that I purchased at the 10 mile yard sale. So I am going to do that for you here. Also, at the end of the video, I am going to insert pictures of jewelry that I purchased from the Salvation Army this shopping trip. I purchased a $30 bag of jewelry. And in order for me, it would have been very long and drawn out for me to go through this whole bag of jewelry in a video. So what I did was, is I went through it and what I've done is I've laid it all out and I will insert pictures of all of the jewelry that I got out of this $30 bag. And I am very, 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 very happy with this purchase of this jewelry bag, um, I have to say. So that will be at the end of this video as well. Um, what else is going to be at the end of the video? Oh, that's about it. Just the ending. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this haul video. Oh, I also want to share with you a few items that my friend Corrine, um, brought me. Uh, so I will be showing you those as well. I'll probably show you those first because obviously it's less items than, um, the Salvation Army. Uh, please excuse the way I look today. I look like a rag and I feel like a rag. Uh, the hot flashes today have been absolutely outrageous. Outrageous. I am, I feel just like a wet rag and I apologize. Um, you know, it's unfortunately part of life for women. Um, which is totally not fair, you know. Um, if, I, if I could right now, I would probably punch Eve right in the face because she started the whole thing, okay? But anyways, on with the haul. All right, let me show you what my friend Corrine bought, brought me. She brought me, she knows I like uh, dragon wear, so she bought me, not bought me, brought me. Well, she, I don't know if it was her collection or if she bought it somewhere. Um, this beautiful Dragonware cup and saucer. Let me show you. And this is obviously made in Japan. And here is the saucer. It is beautiful. All right that over there yeah I actually I had to take my sling off because I was sweating in between like sweating here and then this pad that's on the bottom I was sweating so bad that my whole shirt was soaking wet underneath this wedge okay I'm ready to take it off again because I'm like 
not happy. I don't mean to complain. I'm just telling it like it is. You know? I'm real. That's it. <laughs> she also brought me this. This is a beautiful satin glass goblet. Um, I don't know if it glows because I didn't check and um, I forgot my black light. But it's really pretty. I love the green color. It's like a cross between an olive and a lime green. Very, very pretty. It's got the grape and leaf pattern on there. I don't know who makes it. Then she brought me two beautiful pieces of depression glass. One is, well, they're both yellow depression glass. And uh, this one is a um, an elegant depression glass fruit bowl. It does not glow because I did check when she brought it over because it's, it's a yellow color, almost like Vaseline glass, but it does not glow. But it is just gorgeous with, with the etching on there, the beautiful floral pattern. Beautiful piece. And she also brought me this very pretty, uh, I'm thinking it could be like a cake plate. I'm thinking it looks a little large for a dinner plate. So I'm thinking a platter or a cake plate, even though it doesn't have handles on it. I'm not quite sure, but there's the pattern. And of course, I don't know what pattern it is. What makes you think I would? I don't look at my books. I don't. I don't, I don't retain the information anyway because my concentration level is nil. She also brought this. Look at this. This is an absolutely gorgeous um, cr uh, creamer and sugar. Yeah. No. No, it would be a cup and saucer. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this saucer. It's Royal Winton. And it says Grim Waits made in England Pekin. And I just think this is absolutely stunning. I love it. And it's in excellent condition too. And then she also brought me this beautiful cup and saucer. It's got the reticulated edging on the saucer. Look at that. And it's that beautiful, it's like a, it's kind of like a gray green luster wear. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Now it does have a little chippy doodle there. But it is still absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Uh, so that was my goodies from my friend Corey. Uh, if you're watching, hey, Cor. Um, all right. So, oh, my God. I'm like, my daughter was here today. I should have had her put my hair up, and I didn't like a dummy. All right, now on to Salvation Armani, as my brother calls it. <laughs> okay, um, I got these for my mom. She told me if I was out and I found some to get them for her. Uh, they are the battery operated candles uh, with the timer. So um, I found three of these for her, and I only paid 69 cents each for them. So um, she'll be very happy. So we got those for mom. <clears throat> I'm going to see if she'll take me to Goodwill again tomorrow. And Jessica is going to take me to um, the Old Mill and the Sanborn Old General store on Wednesday. Yay! Yay! I need my fix. <laughs> Um, then I got this little, uh, tea bag holder, 
uh, because, of course, it reminds me of Binks. Yes, he's not Japanese, but, you know, he's, he's, he's cute. I mean, Binks isn't Japanese. This is, but Binks is. I love it. So this is mine. Um, I got a couple cute little ornaments. Look how cute this is. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. We got that one, and it came in its original little box. And the reason I'm buying these is for mystery Christmas mystery boxes. Yes, yes, indeed. And actually, these are Dunkin' Donuts ornaments. Look at this. Look at this little guy. <laughs> How stinking cute is he? Oh, my gosh. So, I got those two. Those are adorable. Um, I'll let you know what I spent at the end of the, the haul. So, we got those. I found another Hazel Atlas terracotta creamer. Pink tags were 99 cents. This just happened to be a pink tag and it was 99 cents. Um, they, I can't remember the other two colors, but the other two colors, uh, whatever they were last week were 50% off. And then pink tag, anything pink tag was 99 cents. So, Anyways, I got that. Um, I got this amazing um, flower frog, lotus flower, candle holder centerpiece. Holy cow. So here is the flower frog part. Let me show you. It's kind of stuck in the bag. Oh my God. Really? Give me a break. Okay. So the flower frog fits in here like this. Uh -huh. And then you put your flowers in there and your candles in here. Tell me that is not awesome. I love this. Absolutely love it. Now you could clean all the tarnish off of there if you so wish, and then it'll look like the flower frog part. Um, it's up to you. So I definitely was getting that. That is an awesome piece. So let me stick that in here. All right, moving that over here. All right, I also got these remind me of Wedgwood, even though they're not. They're still beautiful. Um, I got this beautiful vase, and it's actually a wall pocket vase because it does have a hole on the back here to hang it on the wall. Yes. It's a beautiful, like a dark sage green. And to go with it, I got this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my word. That is gorgeous. And all the flowers have their petals and all the leaves are there. Nothing broken off. It is beautiful and I love it. I think it is so pretty. So I picked up that. Then I got this. I have to wash it up. This really beautiful frosted vase. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's got like marks on it, which the magic eraser. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Magic eraser will take off. So I got that. I got a lot of stuff, guys. Okay. Then I got, let me show you this. Uh, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
of the Corel. Uh, is it Town and Country? And then they also call it Blue Onion Pattern Saucers. Unfortunately, it only had the one hook cup. You know? But if somebody has this pattern and needs an extra cup or would like extra saucers, I have them. So I got those, a whole stack. I got these two. I think these are anchor hocking um, bubble pattern. And they're like, a, they're almost like a carnival glass. Little berry bowls or sherbet um, bowls. I got two of those. They're in excellent condition, no, no chips, nothing. I love that bubble pattern, I really do. I think it's so pretty. Um, then I got, um, usually I find these in the, um, they call them a clover um, shape, but this one is a gorgeous marigold shell-shaped dish. And I think that is gorgeous. This would look beautiful. This could be used as a spoon rest. You could use it in your bathroom. Uh, you could use it for anything, really. I just think it's so, so pretty. Look at the shine. Isn't it gorgeous? So I had to get that. And I know that I have a lot of people uh, that watch from Kentucky. Um, my, my buddy Jeffrey Ross is one of them. And I found this awesome plate and I just had to get it. Look at this, guys. Isn't that pretty? Oh my word. I Look at that horse. Um, on the back, it has a sticker that says... Uh, Something original, a Japan spin original, what? All right, hang on, let me put my other glasses on and see if I can read that. Yeah, spin, spin original, and it has a top. Let me show you, let me take this tag off, first of all. I really wish that this camera would focus properly, you know? It really irritates me. So I did purchase that. I love that plate. I thought it was beautiful. That's only the second Kentucky plate I found. The first one I found, I sent to, um, to Tam. Um, She's got a YouTube channel, Tam's Place, and uh, I sent it to her. Uh, okay, now, my buddy Baxter gave me this um, because he thought he knew I would like it, and I do, I love it. Um, but it is broken, but you know what? Who cares? It is adorable, and nobody will even know. I, I'm a, I don't know exactly what she was supposed to be carrying, but look at this little nun. Oh my word. She is adorable. Look at her little face. <laughs> she is so cute. So this is broken here. And I don't know what she was holding. I don't know if she was hold, maybe holding a cross. I don't know. Um, but I'll bet you any money I could fix that and probably put a cross on there if I felt like it, which I don't, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'm just going to sell her just the way she is. So we got her. <laughs> I'm going to name her Sister Mary Frances because I had a teacher in second grade at Sacred Heart School named Sister Mary Frances. And she was one of the only nuns back in the day that actually wore regular clothes. She did not wear her habit and her, you know, yeah. 
Sister Mary Frances. She was very nice. I really liked her. Can't remember. I think she was my, can't remember if she was my second or third grade teacher. But anywho, I digress like I always do. But anyways, um, I found yet another one of these. It is a 22 karat gold warranted tree stump or whatever planter, tree planter with the squirrel. Excellent condition. Um, the squirrel has a little bit of paint loss right here and on the tip of his ears. And also we have a little bit of paint loss on that piece there. Um, but the rest of it is pretty good. I mean, it's an old piece, so you're going to find like paint loss here and there. But it's not cracked and it's not chipped, so we're in good shape. Um, I just got this because, of course, it's cobalt blue, and I love cobalt blue. This square vase. However, it could also be used as a candle holder. It would look beautiful with a candle inside, absolutely. Um, if I had batteries in these candles, I would, you know, drop one in there and light it, but I don't. But, yeah. So, I got that. I thought it was very pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I got another gorgeous crystal, crystal, no, not crystal, clear glass stretch vase. I have one just like this, but I think it's taller. Um, so maybe I'll sell them as a set. I don't know. What do you think? So we got that one. I got another brand new peeler. And let me tell you, this is in, this is brand new, never used. Look at this, you guys. Brand new, never ever used. Yep, so that'll be in a live sale for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I when I opened up the box, I was like, holy cow, brand spanking new. That is awesome. And you know what? This originally sold for $29. $29. All right, um, let me show you this because this is absolutely a gorgeous set. I did pay up for it. I haven't looked it up on eBay, but I'm sure it probably goes for a decent amount. Look at this set. It's, it's False Craft. Um, the name of the pattern is Flower Market, and it is a dipping oil gift set. Look at this. Gorgeous or what? Oh my word. Brand new in the box. You get the four dipping bowls and the olive oil bottle. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Beautiful. That would be, oh my God. Can you imagine putting that on your table with a nice Italian dinner? I should have showed that to my daughter, but she probably won't want it. She doesn't like anything I like, really. Okay, um, I got this. This is a vintage um, Sears Kenmore. Here is the box. Sears Kenmore buttonhole um, attachment. Look at this. This is like, this is like brand new. 
So we, you have all the different buttonholes. You have this piece he, here that goes, let me put this in here. So it's this whole set. I don't know if it was ever used, but you have all these different little buttonhole attachments. Like, awesome. There's what, four, eight, nine of them. So um, I'm gonna look on eBay and see what this sells for. So I uh, definitely was picking that up. And it even came with the, um, this little paper um, was on top inside the box. Put it back on there. Yeah, so that was a great, um, a great find. Hopefully, we'll see, you know, um, if they're good sellers on uh, eBay. If not, if anybody um, is interested, if you have a Sears Kenmore and you would like a buttonholer, let me know. Just shoot me an email. Um... Then, of course, I thought of my friend Robbie. She loves the Wexford pattern as much as I do. I found two sets still in the box. There's four in each box of the Wexford cups. And I believe she just bought the, the saucers from me. And then I found the cups. Can you believe that? Isn't that weird? So I have eight brand new cups still in the boxes. The people that had them had them covered in paper towel to keep the dust out. Yeah. Brand new in the boxes, Wexford cups. Mm-hmm, yes, indeed. So, we got those. All right, I gotta put this over here and make myself a little bit of room because I have some large items to show. Um. <laughs> my daughter was like, what the hell are you buying that for? And I said, because I think it's awesome. I'll show you. She goes, oh my God, you buy the weirdest stuff. How stinking cool is this? I'm assuming it is maybe a bird feeder. I mean, look at this. It is awesome. I have no idea where it was made. But I'm like, this would be so cool outside with bird food in it. Or you could fill it with water. For a little bird bath. I mean, I think this is like so stinking. It's unique. I gravitate towards unique things. And it is. It is very unique. I think it's cool. I really do. So, I bought it. And then I bought this and she's like, why are you buying that? She said, it's got pieces broken off of it. I said, because, just because there's a few little things missing off of it doesn't mean it is still not an awesome piece. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Look at, Look at the little pigtail. This is a big bank, okay? So 
There are some flowers missing. I will show you. You'll be able to see where they're missing because you can see where they were glued on. She's missing one off of her head and two on her back. But so what? And she doesn't have a plug. So you know what? It's left in. So you put a piece of tape on there. Big deal. Big deal. Like what an awesome bank. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. I wasn't leaving this behind. Heck no. Heck no. Um, I got a few clothing items. I got a pair of LuLaRoe leggings. I think they're leggings. No, they're, maybe they're not. They're not LuLaRoe. They're just made in China. But they're just like LuLaRoe. So I got those. I got this pretty shirt. I know, I can't even stretch it out to show you guys. It's really pretty. And I got this shirt to go with a pair of um, capris that I have. It's the cold shoulder, and it's a pretty mint green color. It's got a little pocket. So I got that, and that's it for the clothes. And actually, I have one more item to show you, and I did pay up for this piece. Um, it was half price, so that was good. Oh, my gosh. It is gorgeous. This is a Balik vase. Show you the close-up flowers. It's got gold detailing down here. There's the little shamrock. And it's got like beading. Gold detailing around the scallop top. Oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And here is the Balik stamp. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece of Balik. I, and, and it's in perfect condition. They had it in the case up front it by the cash register. So I said, Miranda, can I see this beautiful vase? And I, as soon as I saw it, I said, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> so. Well, my friends, that is everything from this thrift haul. What did I spend? I spent $120, $120, but I'll tell you, I, I got a lot. I, I did get a lot. Um, why do I feel like I'm missing something? Hmm. Something I bought was twenty nine ninety nine. What the heck was it? It's definitely not on this table. Oh, the bag of jewelry. That's why. That was $30. That's right. Okay. Do, do, do. Hey, Fritz. Yes. So be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video. Um, and I will insert pictures of, there's going to be different. I'm going to like insert a picture of um, 
like all the necklaces, pins, rings, etc. I will make my money back, probably half of it back, no, actually more than half of it back, at least just on the jewelry, not to mention all the other stuff that's sitting here on the table. So I've done good. Wait till you guys see the jewelry I got. It's like great. I was very, very happy uh, when I went through that bag. There was another bag in the case, and that bag was half price, but I didn't see anything in it that was worth even the half price price of the bag. So I didn't bother with that one. So anywho, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, um, at 6 o'clock Eastern on my channel, Crafty Jackie and I are having our monthly um, two-way sale. And it is going to be um, nothing but vintage kitchen items. So um, don't forget to come to that because it's going to be really good. Um, and um, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I am asking all of my prayer warriors to please pray for Jeannie from uh, Norma Jean Plus One for her best friend. Um, her name is Becky. And actually, the prayers are not for Becky. The prayers are for Becky's husband and her two children who are 11 and 9 and for Jeannie because unfortunately Becky passed away suddenly and it was um, Jeannie's best friend. Um, she was taken by ambulance to the hospital because she was having problems breathing and she passed away. Uh, and they are all having a very, very uh, rough time of this. And Jeannie contacted me and asked if all of my prayer warriors would please keep Jeannie and Becky's family in your prayers. And I said, I absolutely will. I absolutely will. So when you guys are saying your prayers this evening, please remember, um, Becky's children, her husband, and Jeannie in your prayers because they definitely need them right now at this time. So um, with that being said, I am going to end this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So these are some of the awesome... Um, jewelry pieces I got. This one is actually um, uh, Anne Klein. That one is really pretty. I got a lot of beautiful uh, necklaces. This one is, I forgot, I got to look again. If I can get this where I can see it, just give me a second, guys. With one hand, it really sucks. Okay, Talbots. That one is a Talbots necklace. Oh my God, look what I did. <laughs> Talbots. This one, like this chain is really ugly, but look at this beautiful pendant. Isn't that gorgeous? Then we have this big chain, which of course we all know is not real gold. Definitely not. Then we have this. Talk about a statement necklace. Holy cow. Would you look at this? It is missing a rhinestone right here but all the rest are there and I could probably find a stone to replace that 
Then we have some pearl necklaces, which are really pretty. Look at this one with the jade beads. And I believe these are real jade because they're cold. They're very cold to the touch. Then we have just a few like little, this one's really pretty. Look at this one. Wait a minute. Let me, is it the wrong way? Hang on. <laughs> I have it the wrong way. There, it's got all little rhinestones. Very, very pretty necklace. And then there's this one with the little pendant on the bottom, silver chain, and then just this plain um, silver chain. So those pr that was pretty much the necklaces that I got. So I'll clear these off, and then I'll put some, some rings, some pins, and some watches out. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm going to just start down here. I got these two beautiful uh, sweater clips. Uh, then I got, this was in the bag. I don't know. It's, it's really a mess. I haven't tried to clean it. I don't really know if it's like a magnifying glass. It kind of could be. I'm not sure. I have to clean it up and see. I got this is a pendant in the zebra pattern with the matching earrings. I have to uh, put a chain and new earring wires on the earrings. I got a couple bracelets here. This one is like one of those, you know, rhinestone ones. This says 14 karat gold, this beautiful hummingbird pin. Um, it says it on the back here. 14 karat gold electroplated. I had to look that up. <laughs> I got these two cat pins, a red one and a black one. Uh, then I got this, uh, these pins here. I love this one. This one has seen better days, but it's all right, you know. Then I got this one. Oh, I already showed you that one, the heart one. This one is the one I meant to grab. It's missing a stone right here. Easy fix. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> um, then I got earrings. These are yellow, like zirconia, cubic zirconia, yellow um, earrings, studs. These are awesome. These are clip-ons. Look at those earrings, guys. Aren't those awesome? Then I got a pair of these. They're not marked. These I have to make into earrings. These are really cool. There's like little stones in there. And that's, that's not hard to do at all. I got these. I thought maybe they might be sterling, but I didn't see any markings on them. Um, let's see. Oh, and then these little cubic zirconia studs. A pair of those. Watches. This is a nice watch. It is, who makes it? I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> then there's this one that's got like the alligator kind of faux alligator strap. Quartz. Then there's this one. Brand new in the box. It's made by Fig Figaro Couture. Holy crap. Let's, sorry about that. Um, it does work. Huh. 
How cool is that, you guys? I got to do some research on that bad boy. Got some bangle bracelets. That one like this. This one's pretty. It is marked. What does that say in there? Where is it? What does that say, guys? I don't know. I can't see it through the camera. I got a rope, um, leather rope uh, necklace for a pendant. Um, rings. Oh, my God, you guys. Look at these rings. Uh, holy cow. They're not real, but as far as I know, that's pretty cool. It's like copper. This one is cool. They they all are marked like 14 karat electroplated or whatever. Look at this one. Wait a minute. Let me get it so where you can see it. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? This one is gorgeous as well. It's like an opal. That one's really pretty. I love that one. And then there's this one. Yeah, I got some awesome jewelry here, guys. So then, of course, I have, oh my gosh, a bag of just little, um, like, earring backs and lobster claws and stuff I could use in jewelry making. Uh, same with this bag. I have, there's, um, there's eye pins, eye, a box of eye hooks right in the back there. Then there's all these bags of, like, stones from uh, Lindenwold's Fine Jewelry. So hang on, and I'll open the bag, and I'll show you. All right. Um, I forgot to show you this pin. This is really old. I could tell by looking at it. Look at that pin. Isn't that gorgeous? And I forgot to show you these, these two pendants here and these two little ones that just need chains. This one's gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Right? And then these two. So these are all the beads. Like they're, they're all these different stones, linden wolves. Aren't those cool? I got to check those out as well, but wow. Like that's amazing right there. All right, now this pile here is just um, misfits that are missing their mates. Uh, this is a beautiful necklace, but it is broken in a couple spots. And it's just, it ends like this. It's not attached to anything. Um, I wish this, were, this earring, um, I wish the mate would have been in there because I really liked this earring. I thought it was pretty. And this one, too. But, yeah, these are, like, broken, broken, missing the mate. This I'm going to make, uh, this octopus I'm going to make into a necklace. Since it's missing the other earring. So, we'll make a necklace out of it. Uh, yeah, so these are all misfits. We got a little, this is a little charm. Little baby shoe. This, I love this, too. I'm really mad that this was missing its mate. Pretty earring. Yep. We have a, what's this? Oh, a Santa boot. Yep. So, that's all just, uh, that could be for crafting. And then in this bag is just all kinds of miscellaneous uh, beads and, you know, this, this is a whole strand of beads here. 
And then we have just all kinds of different beads. These are really pretty right here. And then there's pieces like this that you would glue onto something. The backs are flat. Then there's the sh Shambhala beads. And beads like these. So, yeah, there's this. This is pretty. Unfortunately, I would, I have to, uh, I would have to hook a jump ring on there, which is no problem, and I will make that into a pendant. So, I have a lot of little projects here with all of this stuff. So, let me know what you guys think. Did I do well with that $30 bag of jewelry? I think so. Let me know in the comments. Bye, guys.